First, we have Mario Gabelli with us today. You want to comment on, on what we just try to, to have people go look at CNBC.com for that story about the rejiggering of, of uh, some of these sectors? No, it just it changes the makeup, obviously. Of yeah, of well, we don't closet index, we don't hug indexes, uh, but we follow each stock specific. So I'm recommending that you own some CBS, some, some Viacom, and we're going to tell uh, Sherry to be the same as the owner Bob Kraft of the Pats. Stick with your QBs. Ionello is going to follow through on the strategic plan, and uh, Bob Abakish is going to do a great job at Viacom and just become an owner. So you're, those companies are not going to get together? I hope not, not in the short term. I'd like to see them both show their numbers. I mean, CBS is a loaded laggard. Viacom is an even doubly loaded laggard. Don't you think there's too much content? Never. Really? Never enough content. The question is also there's taking nine that content. nine zillion TV shows now. No, yeah, it's not enough? There, there's 330 uh, million people in the United States and 7 billion more in the world. There's like 7 points. What pro okay, what property, what property within Viacom is going to recover, do you think? Um, and have, is it MTV? Is it like, which of their pro um, properties or verticals, and all of them are more of them? Paramount. Paramount, okay. That's going to help. So the I film know, business. Play. Yeah, well, Mission Impossible has done extraordinarily well. They have a good lineup. They've got new management. And in addition to that, I'm not concerned about the MTV, though I need to have a better understanding of why they took, uh, did a deal with Netflix. Direct to the consumer, you and I have talked about, yep. that's the holy grail, okay? Right. And uh, how do you get recurring revenues? How do you do it uh, and sell your content at a price and on the device the consumer wants when they want at the lowest possible cost and create it at the lowest possible cost? And that's a challenge. Well, on, 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 hey, 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 hold, hold on. All right, all right, come on. I, I don't want to lose this real quick. Um, so you, as the second biggest holder of the voting shares of Viacom, right. would vote against any proposed merger between Viacom and CBS? Uh, darling, it's how you bring love to the table. What are the terms of trade and when, okay? <laughs> but you just said you don't want it to happen. Not short term. I want to see both of these individuals, A, Ionello, execute on what Munf has put, uh, Les put in place, and he's doing that, and allow Backish to do what was not done for a long time, and that is a uh, quick fixer up, and much the way you heard of the management at UA. Under Armour, and that is let them execute. Viacom has 400 million shares at $30. It's $12 billion market cap. They've got about eight or nine million a billion of debt, and it's a small cap stock in the whole world. It's a terrific yummy. But if there was a vote today, you'd vote. I don't know what today is. I'm not going to be hypothetical. Today's Friday. I understand. Today is Friday. Yeah. September. <laughs> Darling, I don't have a vote. I don't even have the date in which the CBS annual meeting is going to be set up. Are you? That's you're... work in progress. You own CBS shares too? Yes, we own, uh, of the 40 million shares that are in the public hands on the voting stock, there's 10 million that is not owned by National Amusements. My client owned about 50% of those votes. Okay. So if there's a minority of the majority, a majority of the minority has to vote on something in Delaware court, you have a voice at the table. You think they I'm should... I'm a cheerleader for Sherry. You right think now. they should pay Moonves the $120 million? I have no comment on any compensation thus discussions. It is what the... This is so aired in the world. Let the world... Let, you've heard about it. I'm not going to add anything plus or minus to that. Okay. I don't think you should get paid that much yet. <laughs> Another year. $120. <laughs> All right. Decent Yo. <laughs> Scott, can I fire in a question here? Uh, uh, go ahead. It better be good, Jim. Well, look, because I was going to move look. on. It really better be good. I we're gonna move, look, we're going to move on to Verizon and AT&T. Right? Yeah, go ahead. All right, so look, AT&T bought Time Warner. Verizon's bought some content properties, AOL being amongst them. I would say they're not that great. Why doesn't Verizon just come in and say, look, we got to match Comcast. we got to match AT&T and pick off either CBS or Viacom. That just seems so obvious. Because it's not working. Uh, Oath, Oath, I, is, I, Oath is a loser. Can uh, we all yeah, agree I, on that? Wait, wait, Which one? I just, said that, I just said that that's not the way to do it. I said that AT&T, wait a second, you're using one bad content deal. I would submit to you that AT&T plus... AOL, Yahoo. Uh, it, it, just hang on a second. Right. AT&T and Time Warner, okay? Disney and Fox, Comcast and NBC. These are, th what, you know, Disney still is yet to be seen, but these are things that have worked and are working. Okay, you can find a Verizon with AOL and Oath is, okay. that is let's, bad. Let's, but let's, sim let's, let's, sim let's yeah. simplify Disney it. Disney and Fox are not telecom companies. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's simplify it. Content and distribution is what I'm saying. My, We're simplifying. My own, my own sense Verizon is, or AT&T? Oh, I own Verizon, and I would prefer buying Verizon. Me I, too. I give a little time to AT&T to give the story out in the next, uh, you know, Stevenson's going to pull it together. Let's see what he says on a quarterly conference call now that's nine months. I don't know about the Justice Department arm wrestling again on a, uh, you know, kind of re-examination of what Judge Leon said. I'm not sure that that'll change. 
but I'd like to get that out of the way after the election, certainly. And in addition to that, uh, clearly uh, uh, Columbia Pictures, uh, owned by Sony, is in play. Music is in play because of Spotify. I got Vivendi on the queue, and I got the, the music at uh, Sony. So a lot, lots of interesting things going on. Independent of that, uh, you know, I uh, also like the broadcasters. I'm pounding the table on Tribune. 87 million shares, TRCO is the symbol, blah. And, uh, you know, you're going to have a, the outpouring of money in this election. is only a mini election. Wait till 2020. And uh, a year from now, the market's going to look at that. And there's a lot of buyers for Tribune. How are you viewing uh, the sky auction, which is going to. Yeah, that's a great question. We, we debate that internally. Hours. The stock closed at 1586. The pound was a little weaker today because, unfortunately, uh, you know, the, the uh, EU is thinking about singing the song called Hotel California. What is that thing? You anyway, check out and you, can you can't, can't get back. You, when you check in, you can't check out. <laughs> Independent of that, uh, Sky, I, if I were playing the game, if I was uh, Eisner, uh, Iger and uh, uh, Rupert, you know, I'd probably bump the price to 1475. I would then not tender if they uh, bump it higher. I'd let the Comcast get it. I would then negotiate to buy Hulu from them. I would, they have to sell RSN. Why do I want to take on another $33 billion of debt? Uh, you know, and I've got to check that on. That's maybe pounds. If I was Comcast, what do they want? What are they getting outside the United States? So there's a lot of interesting dynamics. Do you own our, our parent company, Comcast? Our team does. But you don't personally? I've owned Brian Roberts' uh, company. And I own, uh, personally, I had other cable plays like the one that was sold to uh, uh, Altice, uh, Cablevision, we're large holders. We're buying cable in Latin America. We own Liberty Global. And there'll be another round of consolidation, Scott, on a global basis in the, uh, that. And uh, I own 5G, and I like what Verizon's doing in 5G. There was another name that you mentioned during the break that plays in uh, the There's Liberty. a company in Latin America the called Millicom that is owned by a uh, team in uh, Stockholm. And uh, Kristen Stenbeck runs a company called Shinovic. Shinovic owns it. There's a tax rule in, in the, uh, Switzerland, uh, uh, Sweden if you own 10% of a company. You don't pay any tax when you sell it, which is great. So I think they're going to monetize that at some point. The guy Ramos that's running it came out of uh, Liberty Lilac. And uh, there'll be a merger somewhere in the next 12 months. The stock's 55, 100 million shares, 5.5 billion, a couple of billion of debt. You're going to get uh, 75 to 85 Can I ask you about, can I ask you about Disney? Do you, do you think ESPN is stabilized? I can't answer that daily. I think the notion of taking a, a direct to the consumer and figuring out how you put additional content in there, he's getting a huge, powerful platform of content. And so when I look at Disney and assuming that I'm Murdoch, right now, Rupert is going to get, uh, I'm assuming he goes all stock because otherwise he'd pay cash. He's going to wind up owning about, a, he has 300 odd million shares of, uh, of uh, Fox. He's going to get a point uh, three four share of Disney. If he's the only one taking it. He's going to be the largest shareholder. Disney's going to have 1.8 billion uh, shares outstanding. I think the stock is uh, going to earn $8 in 2020. I think you sell at a 15 multiple, 120 or 20 multiple, which is kind of in line with whatever the market's going to sell at. That's 160. I think Disney is well positioned in the future. So if I knit, if you want to kind of worry about uh, people uh, going a la carte uh, right. on ESPN. It depends on content. It depends on sports. I'm a big fan of football. I'm a big fan of baseball. I want to know everything because of betting. And uh, the betting is going to create an in increased attention, and it's going to keep Will people ESPN longer. ESPN embrace uh, sports betting? Are they going to make that a big part of it? I think they should. But it's Disney, so you don't know. If, uh, listen, if, if you want MGM want uh, for sports betting, William Hill, uh, Golden, uh, enter, uh, e, uh, I can't remember the name. Symbol ZVRI yet. Uh, and uh, they basically just cut a deal with William Hill. You're seeing the, a lot of sports betting, and they're uh, unfolding right now in Atlantic City as we're talking.